about seven days ago, I'm not happy. And uh, I'm upset with all what is happening in the battlefield of Sambisa forest. Because I can see from my own experience, there is no synergy between the Nigerian Air Force and the Nigerian Army. Because the metal from Meduguri is about 170 something kilometers. The Air Force F7 or Alpha Jet can reach that place in less than 50 minutes. And the uh, helicopter, fighter helicopter, can reach there in 25 minutes. And the, those people, they say they lasted there for hours. So there is a problem between the Nigerian Army and the Air Force. Because it's not good for an Air Force officer to take command from the headquarters while they are in the battlefield. That is one mistake. You cannot operate unless you look for permission from Abuja. While you are in the battlefield, anything can happen at any time. And how an army, as we know Nigerian army as professional, they want Somali to succeed. They want Liberia to succeed. They want many countries. Why not Nigeria? This is a problem we are facing. And how can you send an army, the whole unit, and give them outdated equipment? Equipment that is since Shagari regime. And there is element of sabotage. Because I am sure those people, they cannot confront army with tankers unless they have information that that tankers are not working. That is how they use opportunity and come and kill our people. It's an embarrass to the entire nation and it's an embarrass to the entire army and the embarrass to the airport. This thing that we can finish it in a short time Look at how it is taking us long. So the most important issue is, Mr. President, to aware of that NGOs that are giving medication and support, food and others to the terrorists. We're supposed to stop them. If we never stop that type of NGO that are going inside the Sambisa and meeting those people, we will not succeed this war. And secondly, the chief of army staff and the chief of air staff, if they have problem between them, they're supposed to forget the problem within themselves. They're supposed to consider with the nation interest. Because look at how our heroes are dying. Young guys. For nothing. If they cannot afford to, to, to hold that positions, let the president tag them and blow the oppressed people. Because they block some people's chance. Many people are going on retirement because of them. I, I am annoyed with this killing because you know losing life in each and every religion of God is, is prohibited. To lose, more especially to lose a people that are trying to protect the integrity of our country. So I'm annoyed. And I am sure if they can give us some artillery, we will invite the professional hunters like me. I am sure we will go there and finish this, this war. I am saying it with my heart. And I am sure we will won. Because when you go there, we need strategy. We hunters, we have strategy. We know all that Cap Zero inside Sambisa. I know every day I go hunting there. I stay alone inside that bush before Boko Haram for seven days, ten days, three days, four days. I went there more than 20 times. Every day our soldiers are dying there. Which is a shampoo. And in the government of a man of integrity. He try his best. Mr. President try his best. He give them arms. He give them everything. 
Though I am criticizing National Assembly, the time that President say we approve one billion naira to buy up, we are accusing it. We refuse. We are against it. Look at what happened. One billion, the Americans, Russian, and the other soldiers, they are winning wars anywhere they go because they are appropriating a good money to them to buy the arms. Because in a war, arms matters. What we go with, since Yagari regime, you take tanker that are, since Yagari, since I was a small boy, you take it to the work for those people, they have this letters, AA, LA, and others. I can see it, they are displaying. Letters, LA, AA, LG, 